Now let me show this nucleated cube. Valver on one. And of course we see the cross section. It is a center in a sphere in a center here. These all gonna touch twelve around one. And it looks like that. Cube octahedron. But check this out, if I just rotate it 60 degrees like that, we have a close hexagonal close packing. Has the same number of sphere, it just looks a little different. Now here I want to show the smallest cube we can place in isotropic vector matrix. Now let me show two like this. All right. Now we see this cube is a one eighth of all the other cubes I just demonstrated a minute ago. And now, this is a small cube, and if I would place them in like that, and I place more of these cubes, we see that the that half of the, the uh, octahedron is already forming here. But now, if we just flip it like this, and we would build the other cube in here, we would have a face centered cubic. It's the same thing, just rotate like that, and you have different different structures. Now here I want to show the other cube. Oh, what I want to show also, here we have a toothpick cube, here we have a dweeb cube, here we have a, a Koski cube, and we can flip this around and name different kind of cubes if somebody wants. Now this would be the lowest common denominator, the smallest cube could be placed and build the whole isotropic vector matrix. Now let me show this other cube here. This is also my, my large cube, this is the very heavy cube. That's all Kirby knew about this cube. It's very heavy and it costed $30. Wow! This is a cross section of a large cube. If I would I don't want to stick them together because they are hard to unroll. But this is a cube and it's a cross section. Is that now? Let me show you like this. Wow! And this would result in a large, large half octahedron if we would build. If we, if I would have more cubes. Somebody said that he has a matrix. I think it was Steve and. Uh, from sphere center to sphere center in his radio sweep he uses a square root of 2 and I, he said that he cannot that my cube doesn't fit in his matrix well I don't know why not because these are all square root of 2 so spheres are here and they all touch him but anyway well maybe something wrong with my cube I don't know well, af well dear friends after all this All these are same cubes. Those who offer this video still think that the synergetics, the 60 degree coordinate system has no relations with the XYZ, are just very shallow and limited, and most likely have no knowledge on the issue. I see a common flaw among the synergetic experts. They all lack, lack logic and reasoning, and a valid physical empiric model. That is why they just shuffle numbers without any coherent thought, the same way Fuller have done. The volume 5 tricota is a good example. The multiple cube concepts were not invented by Raibo, they were invented by Bucky and promoted by Kirby, which now can be corrected by a typo fixing. In time it becomes apparent that these experts lacking modeling skills and math skills. That is why this list actually lasted for as long as it had. No wonder the whole concept is inferior and will never be accepted as any geometry tool other than reductor absurdum. Hey Kirby, you always crying about the heavy cube and the thirty dollars. Well I just donated hundred dollars to the synergetics collapse. 
too bad that you only notice how heavy the cube is and you miss all the attributes. Still done the same thing. What a waste. I thought these guys were experts. All he seen was cubes. Had no idea of any of the other stuff. He was threatening me that he will dismantle the cube if I will not share how those magnets work. I do question the morals, wondering how that can be, but well, fact is a fact. I am sure there is a way to excuse all that inability and shallowness. Thank you all for your time.